What's up guys, this is Sky Tech Freak and today for you I have the video review of Lineage OS 15.1 on the Xiaomi Mi Mix 2. So as you can see, this is the Mi Mix 2. And uh, let me first show you that we are in fact running Lineage OS 15.1, which means Android 8.1. So in about phone, we can hit Android version a bunch of times, get into that Android Oreo Easter egg, and I don't know who this is supposed to be, like the Oreo octopus or whatever, but that's the Easter egg you have in Oreo. You can also hit Lineage, uh, Lineage OS a bunch of times for their Easter egg, which is apparently a Lineage OS octopus. Um, anyway, we can also go into the contributors, and I think this is really cool, where you, they just have all the contributors' names in like a Lineage OS logo. Uh, apart from that, you can go to Lineage OS updates, and since this is the official uh, stable version of the Nightlies that is available for this device, so this is official Lineage OS 15.1, and they are Nightlies, and they are stable, you can get them uh, through checking in Lineage OS updates if there are any new updates, and then you can just download and install them through the recovery. It'll happen automatically over the air again because this is the official lineage os and not an unofficial version uh, like i said this is a nightly but as far as functionality in the rom is concerned i use it as my daily driver it is 100 percent stable uh, wi-fi works bluetooth works as you can see 4g lte works um, calling texting location all the basics and the advanced i guess everything basically uh, works 100 percent on this rom this is actually nova, uh, nova launcher uh, yeah, this isn't the uh, default launcher of Lineage OS, that's Tribute Shed or Tribute Shed or something like that. It's a pretty good launcher in itself, I just believe Nova Launcher gives you more customization and is uh, just a better launcher, so I'm running Nova Launcher, uh, the beta version on this. Uh, apart from that, let's talk about what is new in this ROM in the sense of what is different from stock Android. And to be honest, there's not much because Lineage OS tends to be really close to stock Android and only adds in a few features. But the few features they add in are actually very, very useful. So some of the features that have been added, you can go down to system and you can change around uh, the buttons and layout. So you can click this and you can invert it. You can have an extra button on the left and the right. Uh, uh, what double tapping the home button does, uh, what you get if you long press uh, the recent uh, button and things like that. Like I have uh, set holding back to close the application. I've set holding recents to do split screen and obviously holding home goes into Google now. Uh, so that's some of the cool features as far as customization goes in buttons. There's also gestures and there's just, just the one gesture in this ROM, which is from any screen, if you double tap the power button, you go into the camera and then you can look at Vegeta or Goku and take photos of whoever won out of those two that you prefer. So that's a pretty cool gesture that they have also added in. Apart from that, some of the really cool changes they've made are in display. So live display is basically, it reduces the white light coming from your phone and uh, puts warmer tones on the display at night so it doesn't hurt your eyes and doesn't hurt your sleep cycle. Uh, that's something that a lot of phones are doing these days. In advance, you can also choose styles. So accent is basically uh, when an application is loading or uh, when anything in the system is loading or an app is asking you for new permissions or something like that. Like as you can see here, the cancel is in the blueberry blue that I've taken and style is written in the blueberry blue. So you can change the color of that. You can even have it black, but you can't have it black in the dark theme, which is interesting. You can now also change the theme from light to dark. So this is what the dark theme looks like. It takes just a second to kick in and go back to the light theme because I prefer the look of that. Uh, so that's something cool in display as well. There's also ambient display still here. There's also double tap to wake and double tap on the notification bar to sleep, which is nice. But ambient display uh, here, besides just getting um, the triggered when you get a new notification. So obviously when you get a new notification uh, and your phone is turned off, the ambient display does trigger. But another another cool thing they've added is that if you pick up your, your phone from a sitting position 
also it triggers the ambient display which is what that was and is just right now so these are some of the cool features they've added uh, apart from this something really cool that is also there is uh, when you make a call you can actually record the call so this is what it looks like when uh, the call is actually in process and I've just blurred out the person who I was calling but you can press this is a screenshot of course but you can press uh, record call and when you do that basically you get a voice um, you get a voice recording of the call on both ends now the legality of that is kind of sketchy and uh, I know for a fact that Android has locked it out of um, manufacturers so now manufacturers can no longer give this feature unless your device is uh, rooted they've uh, stopped support for recording the call unless you have a rooted device I think as of Android 9.0 but I'm not entirely sure this of course is Android 8.1 so if you are not rooted you can still um, record your call again like I said the legality of that is sketchy but you can have your phone calls uh, recorded if you would like to record someone's conversation when you were having it with them over the phone so that's another really cool thing and the camera I jumped into when I was showing you this uh, double tap uh, to wake the camera feature wasn't actually the camera that comes pre-installed with uh, lineage OS that is this camera this camera is also all right but the camera that I tend to use is a modified Google Apps camera uh, and the reason I'm able to use Google Apps camera and I get to use all these cool features like slow motion video uh, lens blur portrait mode and things like that photosphere is because I have actually not only rooted my device using Magisk of course uh, I should have mentioned that before my device is rooted using Magisk Manager, but one of the modules I've installed, so yeah, there's that module I was talking about. So this is Magisk Manager, as you can see, I'm rooted through it. And in modules, I've installed a module called HAL3 Enabler. So what this does is it enables uh, certain API support and HAL3 support in devices that don't have it already enabled. So a lot of phones ship with uh, HAL3 Enabler and these APIs already turned on but devices like the Mi Mix 2 don't actually have um, this turned on automatically locked into the device so you need to download this zip and um, what it lets you do is then enables things like slow motion video and portrait mode and things like that on uh, your device and then you can use the Google camera applications that have been modded by a lot of uh, by a lot of developers to like fully make use of this HAL 3 enabled uh, camera. So yeah, that was just some of the things that uh, are new in this version of Lineage OS and in this version of Android. Uh, I believe the Mi Mix is still on NuGet officially through the MIUI ROMs. I could be wrong. There could be even beta versions that are in Oreo now or even the official version, but I much prefer stock Android. Uh, so now I think that we've gotten a good overview of the ROM. Let's reboot into recovery mode and um, take a look of how take a look at how we, you want to flash this so to do that you want to hold the power button and the volume up button i actually made a video of how to unlock the bootloader on this device and how to uh install a custom recovery on this device and i'll link that in the description below if you have if you have a me mix that doesn't have a an unlocked bootloader that uh, video will be very helpful and even if you have an unlocked bootloader but haven't been able to flash a custom recovery that can help you in both those things so here it is this is the custom recovery let me just take you through the steps you now need to install the rom on your phone let me just unlock it with my password so the new twrp is also encrypted based on the password you put in if you have the right version of android etc so like it says it's going to just now i've put in the right password so it's just going to decrypt all my data this does take a minute so it is a little tedious but uh, it's completely worth it, I think, because before this, if someone got a hold of your device that was rooted and uh, they could just reboot into recovery mode and wipe everything and install a new ROM. So once you've successfully booted into your custom recovery, uh, the way you want to install this is uh, first you want to go into wipe and just swipe that across. You don't need to go into advanced wipe or anything just from the main menu. Go to wipe and just slide that bar across so that's the first step then you want to go into install and there's a few files i will uh link all of the important files in the description below of course 
So the first file you want to install is Lineage OS 15.1, whichever version is the latest one. I will put a link to download the latest Lineage OS for this phone in the description below. After you've installed Lineage, the next thing you want to go into is Open G Apps. So the Open G Apps you want for this device and this version of Lineage is ARM64 because that's the type of processor that this phone has and 8.1 because you're going to be running Android 8.1 because it's Lineage 15.1. After you're done with that, you then want to flash Magisk. Uh, there's two versions of Magisk, the 16.0 and the 16.7. I do believe somewhere during the chain of uh, the official Lineage OS 15.1 updates for this device, they did break support for the official 16.0 uh, version of Magisk. So if you ask me, I would suggest flashing version 16.7, which is the beta version. Uh, I was initially able to launch uh, to um, install the official 16.0 version, but then I did an OTA update and it somehow broke compatibility and I wasn't able to um, flash Magisk again until I tried the beta version, which has worked. And again, I was really keen on having uh, Magisk work because I wanted that camera module that allowed me to uh, get better functionality out of my camera. So anyways, uh, after you are done flashing Lineage 15.1 and you flashed Open G Apps ARM64 8.1, uh, the next thing you want to do is obviously flash Magisk, which could be 16.0 or 16.7. After you flash that, if you want that extended functionality that I was talking about, you want to go ahead and also flash uh, the Gcam slow-mo and camera to API enabler. So you flash that. Now each time you flash one of these zips, you don't need to reboot. You just want to go back and flash them sequentially uh, and reboot only at the end after you flashed all of them. So I'll go through that sequence just one more time. Lineage, G apps, Magisk, and then camera enabler. And then at the end of that, you just want to hit reboot and reboot into the system. And hopefully if everything has gone well, you should be able to reboot into um, your new Lineage OS custom ROM. Uh, that's it for now, guys. So if you like the video, um, please like the video. If uh, you liked it enough, consider subscribing. And uh, that's all I have for you now. If there's any other ROM or something to that extent for the Mi Mix 2 or any of the other devices that are featured on my channel that you would like me to work on or um, do a review of or do a tutorial of, just let me know and I'll be happy to do that. Hit me down in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks guys.